Hey, you down here? Okay, the uh, Red Black Bible Star stopped yesterday when I was booting it up right there. And I'm sure you can't read it, but uh, the bottom thing where it was, uh, the last thing it did was starting user bin tour. And I don't think that necessarily has any significance. I think whatever the next thing is is what just it just stopped at. You know, but at the top it says something I don't remember ever seeing before. That long line. It starts out with uh, let's see, applying firewall rules is the very top one, and then let me see if I can get my elbows steadied a little better. Loading additional modules, NF contract, FTP, NF. Okay, everything is okay. That's the thing. Uh, Net BIOS NF contract TFTP, applying firewall rules, and then <coughs> loading additional modules NF contract FTP NFC Net BIOS NF contract FTP. Starting Cap I for Linux, UDEV work 572 kernel provided name Capi C A P I. And name Cappy20 disagree. Please use Simlink or change the kernel to provide the proper name. Uh, but it's all uh, everything's okay. There's no error, you know, no yellow, no red. <clears throat> Usually, if there's something wrong, it's going to be a red message or a yellow one that, like, if it's not a, a fatal error or, or, you know, a real problem. So, anyway, um, I just wanted to get that on some kind of a record so I know what it said. And I'm going to reboot it. I'm going to start up my live video and reboot it <coughs> and, uh, you know, see what happens on the video. I'll show that. Show it when it happens. I'm talking. This is the machine that we're looking at here is the Red Black Bible Store, that one there. And it's run running Fedora 14. <coughs> and it's, uh, uh, it's, my web server right now because everything else is messed up and um, so I wanted to I had to hard shut it down several times because I had another fan go out and I was trying to figure out which fan it was and uh, I didn't have uh, didn't have it plugged into a monitor or anything so I couldn't see who it was you know and, and uh, I actually got all confused I was using the wrong port on the KVM switch I thought I had a problem with the cables and I didn't and I ended up taking it and putting it over there on the uh, workbench and doing it without anything but power plugged into it, which I think is what caused it to start hanging up on boot. I think it'll probably fix itself. It'll probably do an FSCK and fix it. Uh, but you never know. It, it does it ever so many times, uh, you know, so many boots. So I don't know. Sometimes it, well, so, it's kind of weird because when you read about it, that's all I really see. But... I do know that some, when it's broken, sometimes it'll go ahead and run. Any Linux system I've ever had, most of the time when they're broken, they'll go ahead and run it and fix it if it can. But uh, <coughs> otherwise, I'd have to try to manually run it and stuff. You can't actually type any commands with it stuck right here, though. But, but the server's running. The server's already booted. It's running. And uh, I don't know how, you know, I, it looks to me like the only thing that's not running maybe is the graphic user interface. Maybe a few more apps after Tor. I don't know. But nothing that hurts it being a server, so it's really weird. But uh, anyway, I just wanted to get that before I started with my live video, so I'm just doing it on the phone here.